All right, so today I'm gonna do a quick review on the Hori Split Pad Pro for the Nintendo Switch. Now, as you can see, these are two separate controllers that you could attach them, and no, the controllers do not have their own battery inside, so you cannot use them without the Switch. So from here, let me start by unboxing them real quick. So you could just pull it out like that with the manual, and there's nothing inside the box here. And we do have the manual itself, which the manual, you might think this might be like a booklet or some sort of book, but it's really not. If you open this thing, this thing literally opens up like a damn map. Look at this. You see that? It opens, it basically opens up like a map. It's probably like 24 inches in length. It's pretty huge. As you can see, it covers up this whole entire screen. So we have the controllers itself. Let me start by taking it out the box. And the first expressions that I have with this controller is that they are pretty light, which could be a good thing or and it could be a bad thing because when something is this light, you know, with your Nintendo Wii, it won't add too much weight. But then again, is you just have that feeling that these things don't feel premium. But overall, I mean, they are good quality as far as I'm seeing here. I'm using the thumbsticks here. The thumbsticks feel like a genuine controller. Um, the buttons feel okay. They feel normal, no difference there. We have the top buttons here. The top buttons feel normal as well. You know, they are a bit smushy, but they seem and they feel responsive. And also the back ones too, no difference there. On the back of the controller, we do have this grip design here so you can get a bit of grip of the controller there. It's basically a bunch of lines crossed with each other. And just in case if you're wondering, no, you cannot activate these buttons here. This is, there is no LEDs inside here. Everything is basically plastic. So I do have my switch here. Now let me start by taking out the Joy-Cons. And as you can see, this is a quick difference between the, the controllers and the Joy-Cons. These are, these are like two times the size of the Joy-Cons and in thickness as well. As you can see, look at the thickness between both of the controllers. And let me um, put one controller on on one side. It just clicks in at the end. Get the other one here. Clicks in as well. And as soon as you install the controllers to your Nintendo Switch, they automatically connect to the system. You won't have to connect them on the settings. Now, once the controllers are on the Switch, and when you install them, these are not wobbly. Not like the Joy-Cons. The Joy-Cons feel a bit wobbly when you shake it back and forth. But with this, when you try to move it, it's not wobbly at all. It's actually a great, great fit for the Nintendo Switch. Look how it looks from the bottom side. Uh, let me take you to another angle here. And this is the back of the controller here. We got the buttons here. You can still use the stand as well. No difference there. Since the controllers are not heavy and they don't have a battery inside of them, it's not gonna add no type of weight into the switch. And of course, you still have the click function on the joysticks. So as you can see here, I could use everything that I need. Let me start by giving you guys a gameplay here. Uh, let's start with Modern Combat. Okay, now before I start the gameplay, we do have two options here. We got Assigned and we got Turbo. Um, assigned is basically to have your L button switch into the back button and same exact thing with the other side here And just in case if you're wondering you could also activate other buttons for the back button there So as you can see here, we got the L button. We got the ZL We got the L stock and we have the control pad there up down and left And we also have the right side of the controllers there You could also activate any of these buttons here and turbo is to basically activate uh, one of these buttons to keep on being active without even pressing it. So in order to activate turbo mode, you're gonna have to press the turbo button and then the button you want to activate. And once you activate the button that you wanted to use as turbo mode, then to turn it on, you're gonna have to press it again. This way the light will stay lit. And if you want to turn it off, you press it again for the third time. So let's start by activating the shooting button, which is the ZR button here. Let's just press the turbo and the Z and it's activated right now. There it is. Let me press it again. 
Okay, and so you see here, it's activating right now. You see that? So it just keeps on pressing the button for me. Okay, so if I hold it, it stops pressing. Okay, let me press it again to turn it off. It turns off. So let's go to a shooting game real quick. So in order to activate the turbo mode, you have to press it and it shoots by itself as you can see. Okay, so if you hold it, yeah, if you hold it, it stops. If you let it go, it activates. As you can see, it's flashing. Let me see. Yeah, and it just keeps on going from there. If you stop by holding the button, that's pretty much it. Oh, there's somebody right here. There we go. Oh, that was, that was actually pretty helpful. Oh, never mind. There we go. I mean, so far it is pretty nice. Uh, you do have full grip of the controller. As you're seeing there, I killed that guy pretty good. Overall, the controller does play good with shooting games. As you can see here, you get the full thumbstick here on the sides. You get the full buttons here on top. Um, and everything's pretty much, you know, ready to use. So let me just, let me just play a quick game for you guys so that you guys can see how this controller looks. Um, Right now, I'm in a difficult angle, so I could barely see the screen here, but I could see something. Oh, there's usually people down here. Oh, there's somebody over there. Let me jump this real quick. Oh, there we go. Got him. Um, oh, there's another guy. Keep in mind, this is a free for all. Damn, this guy got me good. He has a stronger weapon than me. Um, the joysticks here, they do a great job. I like how the joystick has a shape. This way you get a better grip of the joystick there. Let's see here. Oh, who's shooting me? Oh, somebody's inside here. Ah, come on. I almost had him. Where's he at? Oh, I think he's behind me. Yeah, he's behind me. Oh, oh, this guy's mine. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Ah, oh, this guy killed him. That was my kill, man. And this guy kills me at 5% of life. Wow. There we go. There we go. I got him. Let me get one more. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, let's see if I can get this guy. Oh no, he got me. And he didn't even get shot. Like, I could have sworn I shot him like multiple times. Uh, let me see here, let me exit out here real quick. That's how basically the game controller works like. You know, it's a good size grip, especially with people who has medium or large hands. This controller is a perfect choice. And of course, if you want to use it with the Switch dock, you could also do that because the controllers are basically like Joy-Cons. As you can see, they fits there perfectly with no troubles. You can see that they don't get in the way. And by looking on top of it as well, they do not get in the way. Everything looks perfect and ready to charge. Now the length of this controller is about exactly 12 inches. That's how much both of these controllers are gonna stick out. Okay, and of course, if you want to remove them, you press the top button here and you just remove them from going up. Press it again and just remove it. So overall, I bought this controller for $50 on eBay. Um, for $50, it's a tad bit expensive. I wish it would have been worth at least $40. But for the most part, if you want a portable gaming controller without bringing a full controller with you to play with your Switch, then this is most likely the most perfect option for you because this gives you the best of both worlds. So guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.